Hi, this is Frances from the Meriden Public Library in the Children's Department. Um, and today we'll be doodling a dinosaur, a cute little dinosaur. So to start, I wanted to start off with some books. All of these books can be reserved online uh, or by phone for curbside pickup. And the first one is called The Creativity Project. And it has a lot of really cool uh, excerpts from uh, famous authors and a lot of cool illustrations from famous illustrators and some really nice poems from different poets. So it has a lot of variety uh, just to help get you inspired and access a different part of your creativity. The next one is Art and Max. And Art and Max is like a really cute and funny story about two friends who do art differently and they help inspire each other to become, you know, different types of artists, but still learning how to work together. And the last one we have is everything awesome about dinosaurs and prehistoric beasts. It has really cute uh, illustrations, as you can see here. It's got these cute little dinosaurs on the cover, and it has some really amazing facts about dinosaurs and how to even draw them. There's like a small little excerpt page that shows you how to draw different types of dinosaurs. So that can be really fun. Now all of these uh, are available for curbside pickup. And again, like I said, you can always call the children's department or reserve them online. So what we'll be drawing today will be this cute little winged dinosaur here. So we're going to try and follow these directions and see what comes up. All right, so let's get started. I have my pencil here and you can grab anything at home that you feel comfortable using. So if you have a crayon, a marker, a pen, anything you want to use is fine. And then I have some scrap paper here. Um, you can grab anything at home to use. And so first they're starting with um, the head. So they've got this nice curved line here um, and a little indentation here with like an oval shape. So we're going to try and copy that. have these like a whole line on its face but that's just to help guide you so you know where to put the eyes and where to put the mouth so you want to draw these lines really light and also if you're using a pen uh, you might also want to try and draw a little lighter because you won't be able to erase with pen or marker so you can try and make these lines and if you choose not to do them that's okay too Uh, these lines if you made them they follow the shape of the dinosaur's head so it's got like a straight line here and then it curves all the way down so it's just following the shape of its face and then next um, it's starting to make a mouth here so this line here you might actually uh, be erasing later so let's get started on the mouth and First, they have this really nice long curve here to show the inside of the mouth in here. So you're going to make like uh, a rectangle with some curved lines. next they have like a tail so you can make a really cool tail you don't have to make a tail like this one you can make like 
a little circle for like a nubby tail or you can make the tail really super duper long you can make the tail however you want and then they've got like some wings up here on the top of its head as ears which is pretty cool so this is a really different kind of dinosaur so you can make the little wings up here and then they've also made some feet so you can start making these as we go along going to start erasing the lines near the mouth and then you're also going to start making like the little tongue and the little teeth and then even like the scales on the tail and then you're going to make some arms so we can get started on those hands differently. This one they just got little uh, curves for the little fingers. You can make claws if you want or you can make one claw and then one that looks like fingers and it's all up to you. Um, and for the tail there's like these little curved lines here that look like waves. So if you're having trouble making like little uh, scales or spikes you can just try and make like waves like water. For our final product there is a lot of details going on here so let's get started on erasing some of our lines because a lot of these lines aren't here anymore so let's start erasing the little lines so there's one line here where you want the ear to be in front of the head so you want to erase the line of the head to show that the ear is in front and then you can erase some of the lines near the mouth and some of the lines near the eyes. some lines that you can't erase uh, you can incorporate it into your design so if you drew with pen um, and you can't erase then see how they have like these lines here to show that they're like bat wings on the dinosaur's head you can just add a line here just like they did to show that uh, it looks more bat like so if you couldn't erase, you can just make the line look like bat wings. This little dinosaur has really big eyes. And if you want, you can change the eyes if you want. You can make them really small. You can make them even bigger. Um, you can make them more rectangle shape. All up to you. Times, um, they have these little circles inside the eye so you see how it's white here and then I colored it in this is to show that there's light that there's light coming on to the dinosaurs eyes 
So you make circles to show that there's light. And then you color in the dinosaur's eyes to show that there's darkness too. And then next, you'll color in the mouth to show that it's also dark because there's no light in your mouth. So you've got to color it in. Okay, and next, um, they have your little dinosaur kind of finished, but I think you can add a whole lot more. So let's say for the nose, for example, I think he needs some nostrils because I want him to have big, deep, deep breaths. So I want him to have big, deep nostrils, little holes in his nose. And I know this is a dinosaur, but I also want him to breathe fire, kind of like a dragon. So I'm going to make him breathing fire. So my dinosaur is actually breathing fire, which is super cool. You can add something really nice to your dinosaur too. And let's see, I think I missed his little belly. So I'm gonna make his little belly. And then he has some lines on his feet too. So I'm gonna make those. to show that he has toes. Now for his toes, I wanna make him have like little claws. So I'm just gonna make his little toes pointy. So he has little claws on his feet. And you can make like little triangles to make it super sharp. Okay. And then I want to add more to his ears. And next, uh, I'm just going to color in mine or just outline it in some pen. I also have a Sharpie just in case I don't like how the pen looks. I can always change it. And you can do the same at home if you don't like how your pencil came out. If you don't like how your crayon came out, you can try either a new crayon or you can try um, a pen or a pencil. in our either whale video or our dancing panda video we made some motion lines to show that things are moving around so I want to put some motion lines on his ears here that kind of look like wings to show that his ears are moving that they're flapping so I'm gonna do that
that's our cute little dinosaur. Although my dinosaur kind of looks like a dragon, that's okay, because it's whatever I want it to be. Just like your dinosaur can be anything you want it to be. But this is our really cool dinosaur chub here. And it looks really adorable. I hope you guys had fun uh, doodling with me. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!